guys, it's Karen and Nick here from Nerd Parade. We're back with part three of our Geralt of Rivia cosplay. We're still working on those shoulder pads. We're going to get that chainmail attached to the EVA foam. All right, guys, here we have the piece of EVA foam with the pleather glued onto it. So you want to make sure that you have a good bend on it so it's more form fitting to the arm. And here I have the chain mail that we worked on on one of our earlier videos and you're simply just gonna lay it on here. All right, so now we finish lining up all the rings to make sure that they're all going in the right direction. So you see here, they're all pretty lined up even and the same on this side as well. And most important, you guys wanna make sure that the end rings are, um, are all facing the right directions on the corresponding rows. So as you can see on this row, they're all lined up right, the same at the end too. And you just want to make sure that they are right because once you start sewing it in to make sure they don't they don't go anywhere um, if you notice last minute that it is sewn in wrong you have to kind of take it off and start from scratch again and that's a pain in the butt to go ahead and cut the string all right so here we have our needle and thread and as you can see the needle is a little bit thicker than a normal one and this is because it's easier to pierce the EVA foam through it. It doesn't necessarily matter the thickness, um, but it, the thicker the, the better because it's going to be a stronger needle when you're piercing down and it's going to be easier to use on your fingers. Um, the thread I'm using, as you can see, is brown just so it could match, uh, match here with the, with the fabric uh, pleather. And what I got was the nylon string. Nylon string is thicker than usual. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is thicker and it just holds up better for this type of project since we are working with, with wire and foam and a lot of different materials. So you want to get your needle and thread and kind of pinpoint here in the middle. Start off by the middle just because it's easier that way to do your ends. Um, so you want to bend the foam as much as possible what your arm will look like so you're gonna want to pick a middle ring so I'm gonna pick this one right here so I'm gonna do it from the bottom so that way the knot isn't shown and you're gonna want to sew it securely maybe I'm doing it, I do it about three or four times. Um, I wouldn't recommend any less than that just cause you want it to hold up as strong as possible. Okay guys, so I, I tied it up about three times here and I think that's enough for the middle portion. So I'm gonna flip it over and that's basically what it's gonna look like. Now you guys wanna make a knot here so, so it doesn't come undone get it as close as you can to the foam and one knot is fine it's not gonna go anywhere take the scissors and snip it and you're gonna flip it back over and go ahead and realign all the chain mail make sure that the corners are all correct and the rings are back in place to how we had it before. And what I'm gonna sew on next are the four corners. I'm gonna make sure that the four corners are all sewed in. So that way the chain mail doesn't move anywhere. Okay, so we're back. I finished sewing the corners here and I'm gonna flip it over just so you guys can see. See, it's not going anywhere might shake a little but we're gonna take care of that a little later when we go ahead and glue on the uh, leather pieces on the edges and then do the white sewing. I have cut two pieces of pleather so you can see these are gonna go the long way and now I'm gonna start gluing. Okay so we're gonna start now gluing the pleather edges so what I did was I cut two pieces and this one's already been glued because I wanted to show you guys what it's gonna look like 
um, before you do the stitching like I did here with the completed part so we're gonna start the gluing process that we're gonna go through the video now and basically I lined up here the the completed version because I want to align it with the one I'm gonna glue now so it can be the same thickness that way they're all matching I'm just gonna hold it down here and get uh, the glue gun And don't put too much glue because then it starts uh, bubbling up the pleather and you don't want that. And just start patting it down right where you put the glue on. And you want to bend it as you go gluing it as well. Okay, so we're halfway through. I'm just going to continue gluing. If you, if you guys get some glue on the ring, that's fine. It's actually good because it'll help you when you're, uh, when you're doing the white stitching. So that way the rings are, are more or less already in place. Now we're going to start gluing the edge here. You guys are going to follow the same steps. And if you've worked with hot glue before, you know that it's important to try to glue it down as soon as you can because if not the glue starts drying up and then it's a pain to try to either rip it off and do it again or or it's gonna come out looking bulky so you want to press it down as soon as you can now that you've got the edge done you have to glue the back part Now, as you, you guys are going to notice, this side is a little bit thicker than this one. That's fine. This isn't going to be seen anyways, but it's always nice just to work with a, at least an inch of it because this is kind of tough. Now that everything is glued, now you want to cut this edge. So kind of just make it even. And cut the excess off. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered anyways. So now we have our both sides glued. Now we can start with the two ends. Starting on this edge now, same concept, we're going to glue starting from the pleather. Take your straight edge here. And pat down. Flip it over. I like to do these parts first and then start with the edge. You can do it that way and then with the edges, but up to you. It's basically the all needs to get done. Remember guys, this is hot glue, so try to keep your fingers away and when you're patting down try to do it as quick as you can so that way you don't get burned. Now you guys are going to want to get your scissors and cut this excess piece here because if not it gets a little too bulky. And cut them as close as possible to the corner. Okay. And now we're going to start gluing the edge. Get it as 
as tight as you can. And I'll glue the bottom part. And again, you want to do it as tight as you can so that way the edge here closes. Alright, so I just finished gluing the last bit and this is what the back of this one looks like and just to compare to the finished piece it's all going to look a little different it doesn't matter this is all going to be covered um anyway so it doesn't matter how the back looks so to flip it over this is what the finished part should look like and we'll show you on the next video to do the the white stitching around it and how you connect the rings to those stitching so that way it doesn't uh, move. Thanks for watching.